weren't dominant in the sport. And we were uh, ostracized and kept out of basketball. There was a time in boxing where the heavyweight champion could not be black. And then all of a sudden, Jack Johnson came along, Joe Lewis came along, Muhammad Ali. And it just, people, you don't talk about race in that regard when it comes to boxing. You don't do it in basketball. I think by racializing every conversation about the quarterback, it's like we're not acknowledging we're in the heyday of black quarterbacks. The absolute hey, things are good. If you can play quarterback and you're black, there's a college that will recruit you and there's an NFL team that will draft you. I think to some degree we're focusing way too much on the negative mm. and not acknowledging the real progress that has gone along. And we just keep looking for, oh, something's going on with Lamar Jackson. It must be race. Josh Allen has been called trash <laughs> by an NFL player, a black NFL player. Josh Allen did virtually the same thing last week as Lamar Jackson. Won a game, ran the ball, completed about half his passes. There's no conversation about Josh Allen and how he's being treated or mistreated or anything. I just want, is this conversation a bit outdated? It's not outdated. Um, I, I respect your sentiments and I understand what you're talking about. First, you have to define what's the goal of the conversation in the first place. And when did the conversation start? It started before I played football. Um, it started in the 70s and 80s. You go Shaq Harris, you go to Warren Moon. And <clears throat> great distance has traveled from the days where they told Warren Moon, a Hall of Fame NFL quarterback, you can't play quarterback. You have to play defensive back. Or you get extradited. You get yeah. sent to the Canadian Football League to prove that you can play the quarterback position, which is known for his leadership, which is known for his field generalship, and is known for his accuracy and his mental acumen as much as physical skill. And he proved that. So we have traveled great distance from that conversation. But we haven't hit the promised land. We haven't hit the goal. You know why? Because there's still moments when you let your hand off the wheel. Because I agree with you. I do not like to steer conversations based on race, especially even at the quarterback position. I don't want to steer it there. But whenever I take my hand off the wheel and see where this conversation will go, where this landscape will take me, it always er, takes me to certain places, and I give you Exhibit A. Exhibit A is one Lamar Jackson, as you talk about, Heisman Trophy winner, and then follow that up with a couple of losses as a team, but a better performance as a quarterback in his last two seasons at Louisville. And let's contrast that with a Ryan Tannehill who's a white quarterback, who in his last two seasons, let's just look at the numbers. Only number I see that's greater is completion percentage, which matters. Let's say that. But two to one pass, touchdowns, interception versus three to one. Rushing yards, rushing touchdowns, a Heisman Trophy winner versus the guy who was forced to play quarterback from being a receiver. And I just want to remind everyone in the world, their draft position. One was drafted eighth overall when Andrew Luck was even in that draft, and one was reached for as the 32nd last pick in the first round. Now, when I let my hand off the wheel and then I see moments like that, I hear Bill Polian come out with comments telling me that that Heisman Trophy winner needs to play receiver and not quarterback. When you have those moments continue to occur with Luck, I hate to say it, but it makes me want to grab the wheel again. Before you go, EJ, yeah. you're talking about conversation. Yeah. And, and to me, a lot of times conversation is irrelevant. I'm talking about actions. And so whatever the conversation is about Tannehill, Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson got drafted. Kyler Murray is going to get drafted high uh, or get drafted. Uh, two is going to get drafted high. Black quarterbacks are going to get drafted. A conversation, people talk and say all kinds of things. What are the actions the NFL and college football are taking? Whitlock, those conversations lead to the actions where one is drafted eight and no, one no, no, is drafted no. 32 when 32 had a greater resume and, and had greater potential. When at the, high, at the, at the heart of the, They make all kinds of mistakes in the draft. I get it, but you know what? But, this was not motivated by resume. This was not motivated it by... It wasn't motivated by race either. All I'm saying is the normalization of the black quarterback. Let's say the black normal quarterback has more adversity and hurdles than the white quarterback. 
quarterback. And then even when you're a greater black quarterback, you still may be disrespected the more than a receiver transferred to play quarterback. Well, That's conversation. Crazy. I care less about the conversation. Yeah, I think it just goes down to the, the lease is much shorter for a black quarterback versus our counterparts, period. Now, I think if Lamar had went out there threw four or five interceptions, uh, you know, they lost the game. You know, thank God they went out there. They went they went 2-0 and the past two weeks that he started. Uh, he's thrown the ball well. He's been efficient. He's made great decisions. I think he's had some interceptions, but everybody does. You know, I think, you know, I think the league isn't used to seeing a Lamar Jackson. I think he's the second coming of Michael Vick. You know, you don't see that kind of, you know, athleticism, accuracy, like the size, everything all combined into one. You know, so they can say what they want to say about him, but he's a quarterback, period. I remember when he was coming out for the draft, guys asked me, do you think he can play quarterback? Of course he can. He's he's doing that at a high level in college, just like most other quarterbacks. Andrew Luck, uh, okay, I want to be everybody. a thousand percent real with you. Lamar Jackson's not Cam Newton. He's not Deshaun Watson. Those are great athletic quarterbacks sure. who are very accurate throwers, sure. particularly.